Often we receive many questions about which is the largest military transport airplane in the world. All of these military airlifters mentioned here are incredibly large. Our analysis is based on specifications, available data, and technical comparison. The main factors are the size of the aircraft and their payload capacity. This list does not contain aircraft that are currently under development at the prototype stage. It includes only operational cargo planes. Currently here are the 10 world's largest military transport aircraft in the world. Number 10. Lockheed Martin C-130J Super Hercules, USA. The C-130J Super Hercules was developed by Lockheed Martin. It is the latest production version of the C-130 Hercules. The Super Hercules made its first flight in 1996. It replaced in production the previous C-130H. Deliveries of this tactical airlifter commenced in 1998. By 2014 over 280 Super Hercules aircraft of various models have been delivered to at least 14 countries. Largest operators are the US Air Force, US Marine Corps, Australia, Canada, India, Italy, and the United Kingdom. In the Royal Air Force Service, this aircraft is known as Hercules C-5. This tactical transport aircraft has a payload capacity of 19T. It can carry 92 soldiers, or 6 pallets, or 2 to 3 HMMWVs, or a single M113 armored personnel carrier. Its stretched version, the C-130J-30 has a payload capacity of 20T. It can carry 128 soldiers, or 8 pallets with cargo. The C-130J Super Hercules costs around 90 million US dollars per aircraft. Number 9. Shangxi Y-9, China. In 2001 development of a new tactical transport aircraft commenced in China. It was designed as a replacement for the Y-8 fleet of transports, copy of a Soviet and 12. Chinese attempted to create a tactical transport aircraft comparable to a USC 130J Super Hercules. Eventually, the Y-8 was stretched, improved, and upgraded to create the Y-9. This military transport aircraft made its first flight in 2010 and became operational with the Chinese Air Force in 2012. The Y-9 can carry 25,000 kilograms of cargo. Though reportedly this aircraft will also take off overloaded with 30,000 kilograms of cargo. This transport aircraft can carry 106 passengers, 132 paratroopers, or 72 stretchers. Alternatively, it can carry two ZLC-2000 airborne combat vehicles that can be paradropped. The Y-9 can carry various other military vehicles, including light trucks, cargo containers, or pallets. The rear cargo door serves as a ramp. The Shangxi Y-9 costs around $45 million per aircraft. Number 8. Airbus A400M Atlas, International. The Airbus A400M Atlas is an international project. This medium-range aircraft made its first flight in 2009. This airplane was ordered by 10 countries. Major operators will be Germany, France, Spain, the United Kingdom, and Turkey. The first production aircraft were delivered in 2013. The A400M will replace a variety of aircraft, including Lockheed Martin C-130 Hercules and Transall C-160. The advanced design of the Airbus A400M incorporates extensive use of composite materials. It is fitted with turboprop engines. These engines were selected because of a number of advantages, such as cruise fuel efficiency and lower operating costs. The A400M has a maximum payload capacity of 37T. It can carry two 8x8 armored vehicles. This military transport can take off and land on soft semi-prepared airfields and requires relatively short runways. It was also designed to operate with limited or no ground facilities. The Airbus A400M Atlas cost 203 million US dollars per aircraft. Number 7. Kawasaki C-2, Japan. The Kawasaki C-2 is a new Japanese medium-range military transport. It became operational with Japan's Air Self-Defense Forces in 2016. Around 30 to 40 aircraft are planned to be delivered. These will eventually replace a fleet of older Kawasaki C-1 and Lockheed Martin C-130 Hercules tactical transport aircraft. The Kawasaki C-2 follows the lines of the previous C-1. Its layout is typical for a modern military transport aircraft. 
In order to decrease development and production costs it was developed in parallel with the Kawasaki P-1 Maritime Patrol aircraft and shares major airframe parts, basic wing structure, and system components. This military transport has similar dimensions and payload capacity to the Airbus A400M. The Kawasaki C-2 can carry much more cargo than the aircraft it replaces. It has a maximum payload capacity of 37.6 T. The older C-1 can carry only 10 to 12 T and C-130 Hercules, 19 T. The Kawasaki C-2 can carry around 120 troops, 8 standard air cargo pallets, or 1 UH-60 J. The Kawasaki C-2 cost 150 million US dollars per aircraft. Number 6. Eliashin IL-76, Russia. The IL-76, NATO designation candid, was the first Soviet four-jet heavy transport. Its production commenced in 1974. Over 800 of these military transport aircraft were built. Together with the N-12, it formed the backbone of the Soviet Airlift Command throughout the Cold War. It was used to fly strategic military cargo into frontline air bases in the most extreme operational conditions. This aircraft is still in service with a number of countries. The IL-76 has a maximum payload capacity of 50T. It was designed to deliver heavy vehicles and machinery to remote, poorly serviced airfields. It can operate from short and unpaved runways. The IL-76 can cope with the worst weather conditions experienced in Siberia and Arctic regions. The Eliashin 276 cost $50 million per aircraft. Number 5. CNY-20, China. The Y-20 is a new Chinese transport aircraft. It was developed by Xi'an Aircraft Corporation, XAC, with Russian and Ukrainian assistance. Nevertheless, it is the first heavy air lifter developed in China. Development commenced in the 1990s. In 2006 the program became a national priority. The Y-20 made its first flight in 2013. China became the fourth country in the world, after the United States, Russia, and Ukraine, that developed a 200-ton military transport jet. This military transport aircraft entered service with the Chinese Air Force in 2016. The Y-20 has a payload capacity of around 60 to 66 T. It can carry most large combat and support vehicles, including the Type 99 series tanks. In terms of payload, the Y-20 fits between a larger Boeing C-17 Globemaster III, 77T, and a similar in size Russian Eliashin IL-76, 50T. The Y-20 is also superior to the IL-76 in terms of aerodynamic arrangement and performance. The Y-20 can be even seen as a strategic airlifter. It has sufficient range to reach most of Europe, Africa, Australia, and Alaska. Previously China lacked such heavy military transport capability. The CNY-20 cost $120 million per aircraft. Number 4. Boeing C-17 Globemaster III, USA. The Boeing C-17 Globemaster III is a workhorse of the USAF, flying regular strategic supply missions around the world. The development of this heavy transport aircraft commenced in the 1980s. It made its first flight in 1991 and reached initial operational capability in 1995. It replaced the Lockheed C-141 Starlifter. A total of 250 of these aircraft were built. It is used by US Air Force and some other countries around the world. This airlift has a payload capacity of 76.6 T. It can carry an M1A2 Abrams tank, three Stryker 8x8 armored vehicles, three AH-64 Apache helicopters, or airdroppable platforms up to a weight of 49.8 T. It can also carry a mix of palletized cargo and vehicles. The C-17 can routinely operate from airfields previously denied to jet-powered transports. If required, it can operate from unpaved, unimproved runways. The Boeing C-17 Globemaster III costs $329 million per aircraft. Number 3. Antonov 22 Russia. The Ant-22 is the world's largest turboprop aircraft. At the time of its introduction in 1965, it was the world's largest aircraft. The Ant-22 was extensively used in major military airlifts of the Soviet Union. However, it was never produced in large numbers. This aircraft has a payload capacity of 80 T. It can carry four BMD-2 airborne combat vehicles. 
This airlifter can operate from unprepared airfields. It can take off and land on soft ground. Currently, only six of these aircraft are in service with the Russian Air Force. These appear to be operated by an independent military transport aviation squadron. An additional 18 planes are in storage. The Antonov 22 outperformed the Boeing C-17 Globemaster III on this list. Technically this aircraft is a bit larger and can carry slightly more weight, even though the C-17 is a much newer and much more advanced machine. The Antonov 22 costs $38 million per aircraft. Number 2. Lockheed Martin C-5M Super Galaxy, USA. The Lockheed Martin C-5M Super Galaxy is the workhorse of U.S. strategic airlift capability. Also, it is the largest aircraft, routinely operated by the U.S. forces. The first operational C-5 Galaxy aircraft was delivered in 1969. A total of 131 C-5 series aircraft were delivered until 1989. About 125 of them are still operational. The C-5M is the latest upgraded version which is faster, has a longer range, and can carry more payload. United States ordered a total of 52 C-5M aircraft that are being converted from the older C-5 series airlifter. The Super Galaxy has a cavernous interior with roll-on slash roll-off capability. Cargo can be accessed at both ends of the aircraft. It has a maximum payload capacity of 130 T. It can carry two M1A2 Abrams main battle tanks, 7 to 10 8x8 armored vehicles, striker or LAV, 25, or 16 HMMWVs. The Lockheed Martin C-5M Super Galaxy cost $179 million per aircraft. Number 1. Antonov 124 Condor, Russia. The Antonov 124 Ruslin, NATO designation Condor, is named after a legendary giant. It is broadly similar to the slightly smaller Lockheed C-5 Galaxy. Currently, the An-124 is the world's largest production military aircraft. Only the one-off Antonov An-225 was bigger, though it was destroyed in 2022 during the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Development of this long-range heavy transport plane started in 1971. It made its first flight in 1982 and entered service with the Soviet Air Forces in 1987. With its introduction the An-124 has set a number of world records. A total of 54 Antonov An-124 Ruslin aircraft were delivered by 1995. Currently over 40 are in service. Most of these aircraft are in commercial use and only a small number are assigned directly to the air transport arm of the Russian Air Forces. However there is provision for many civil registered aircraft to be called into military service if necessary. Russia remains the only military operator of the Ruslin. This aircraft has a maximum payload capacity of 150 T. The cargo hold of this strategic airlifter can carry virtually any load, including virtually all Russian armored combat vehicles, helicopters, and other oversized cargo. The Antonov An-124 Ruslin Condor cost $195 million per aircraft.